My name is Arthur Rutov, more known as Arthur R on YouTube. Uh, I shoot Sony APS-C, so this bag might look a little bit different from some of the others. I try to pack very minimally, so I try to keep things really to one camera body and maybe one or two lenses, but for this event, I packed a few more just because I was shooting a little bit more. Let's get into this. First thing I'm gonna start out with is my favorite camera and my favorite lens, and that is the brand new A6700. I would call it the flagship of APS-C as far as a hybrid camera is concerned because it has a viewfinder. Uh, love the new ergonomics of it. The grip makes this camera feel like a full frame camera, even though it's an APS-C and it's a lot more compact. Uh, very, very nice camera, 4K60, I love using it. The lens on this is the Sony 16-55G. It's the equivalent of a 24-70. to It gives you a little bit more than that for APS-C. Very sharp all across the zoom range, everything from 16-55, to it doesn't matter where you are. I've compared this lens to other primes and it performs as amazing as many other primes out there. I have a little variable ND filter on this just because we're shooting out in the sun. And for video, I like to keep my shutter speed relatively in control. So that's the camera and the lens body that I use primarily. I have a secondary body in here as well, and that is a little budget choice, and that's the Sony a6100. This is a camera that I've recommended to so many people if you're just starting out. This is a spiritual successor to the original Sony a6000, which got me into photography. Very small, very compact, but also very capable. Great colors, does do 4K 24. I love taking pictures with this camera and I have it as a backup on me almost everywhere I go. I also like packing it just because it's so small and light and inexpensive, I don't worry about it. As far as other lenses, I have two more here. This is a full frame lens. This is the Sony 85mm f1.8. Pretty compact, nice little portrait lens. That's one thing I like about APS-C is that you can use full frame lenses on APS-C cameras and you're using the very center and the best part of the lens. So that's a great little portrait lens that I've included. And then one of my all-time favorite prime lenses is an 11 millimeter f1.8. Gotta be one of the best little lenses that I've ever tried out. Uh, super duper wide angle field of view. So if you do real estate photography, this is great. For vlogging because of the new crops on some of these camera bodies, it's amazing. Very lightweight, very capable, very sharp. So that's a great little lens. I have a couple of accessories, a little recorder here. This is the Zoom F3. It records in 32-bit float. This is what I use for my YouTube channel. I connect a mic to this and I, I can record anything and not really have to worry about audio levels, which is a very nice thing. Runs on two AA batteries. I have a little hot shoe, cold shoe to tripod adapter, just in case I want to mount a monitor or something else to my camera. I also have a little Sony shotgun microphones, the ECM B10, it's four capsule, nice little uh, microphone, very good audio quality, inexpensive, bunch of controls on the back. Uh, so if I am using a camera run and gun style, I'll put this on the top. And my favorite thing about it is that you don't have to connect any cables to your camera body. They just, it connects automatically through the hot shoe mount on your camera. Now, a couple of chargers, so I just have a charging brick and then extra battery here and then extra lens cap and body cap just in case I lose something. Then I also have a pair of headphones. These are the Sony MDR1As. They look great, they sound great, they're very easy to listen to and I can edit videos with this, plug them into my laptop very easily. Last but not least is a little gimbal. This one is from Feiyutech, super compact. If I want handheld stabilized video, I pull this out, mount my camera to it, and I'm good to go. So that is my camera bag. It's a lot of capability in a small package, and I think that's what APS-C is all about. It's all about getting all of these excellent features from full frame lineup that are getting trickled down to these brand new censored cameras and it's amazing. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about APS-C stuff in general, you can always check out my YouTube channel, Arthur R. If you want to learn more about cameras in general, check out Sony Alpha Universe, their YouTube channel as well. Thank you so much.